Me 30 am with my wife 27 f of 5 years. She has a date tomorrow night and she doesn't know I know everything. So today I come back from work and hop in front of the TV. My wife's laptop is on the desk in front of me and I'm just too lazy to go to the bedroom to get mine, so I just grab hers. I wanted to check my FB to reply to my cousin's message, but in the inbox I realized that my wife is still logged in. Lo and behold, there is my wife trying to set up a date for tomorrow night fan ducking tastic. This soldier let call him Stan is 32 and he grew up in the same town as she did, but I think they only vaguely know each other. So my dear wifey comes home about an hour after me and she immediately starts talking about the plans for this weekend. Tomorrow night my friends from my hometown want to meet up. Stan, his sister Jessica and another girl Sam. I'm not sure if I want to go yet, but it's okay if you don't want to come since they are all from my lame hometown. Then immediately she starts doing plans for Saturday and Sunday. I wait for her to finish and then I say that I absolutely don't mind coming with especially since I want to meet her friends or friend. She goes on for a little bit how it's really going to be boring and how I go to sleep pretty early, so I might get grumpy I wake up early for my job. I keep pressing that I would actually love to go, but she changes the topic as she is almost 100% not going to go anyway. When she started watching TV I told her I have to use her laptop for my fantasy football so I could see any new developments with her date. Then his message comes in and she nonchalantly exchanges the phone numbers just a few feet away from me she used FB app on her phone, and I can't see the screen, but I could see everything on her computer. Now, I don't want to confront her right away because she is going to find some lame excuse. I kinda want to see the excuse she is going to come up with tomorrow so she can go outside and leave me at home. It is eating me on the inside though and can't sleep right now. Our marriage is not ideal we had some tough times recently and the s time life is definitely not what it used to be. I love her, but I definitely don't want to be with a cheater. She cheated on me also with a soldier WTF 4 months into the relationship when we started dating not yet married and I forgave her but I swore to myself that this will be the only second chance. We don't have kids which would make the whole thing easier and we both have good jobs, so the alimony I'd have to pay would be minimal. Does anybody have any suggestions on how to handle this? Should I confront her tomorrow morning, or should I wait for the date to take place? So here I'm just going to go ahead and post her little convo artistically modified just so somebody can hopefully please tell me that I'm crazy and looking way too much into it. Is it just me or is she really drooling all over that guy? Fuck, I feel like my head is going to explode because I'm so pissed off and now I have to go sleep next to her. While I was typing he sent her another message to text him during work if she gets bored. Nice honey, I hope you have a very entertaining day tomorrow. Ashley 825, 8.51pm. Stan. How are you doing buddy? It's so nice to see you're doing well. Stan 825. 8.52 p.m. Thank you Ashley. Great to hear from you, how are you? What's new? Ashley 8.25, 8.54 p.m. Oh nothing new. Moved to our new city recently from Old State. It's good to be back home near the fam. Where are you around about? I have to admit I find your life is fascinating. I really hope you are doing well. Traveling much? Stan 8.25, 8.59 p.m. I travel a lot, live in her and his hometown. I am doing private security work in one other city for the moment. I teach some firearms and law enforcement military as well. Just trying to stay busy. I may go back to the army. It really is great to hear from you. What are you doing now? Ashley 825, 9.08 PM. That's fantastic. I bet you are in very high demand right now. I bet you were enjoyed getting to use your skills on the home front side. I always regretted not pursuing a life in the military settled with being a her profession. It's the typical corporate job but I stand out cause I am not ducking weird, that makes me a rock star, so the corporate ladder is shorter for me. I move a lot 5 times in 6 years so I'm still a vagrant. But I like that. There's something refreshing to me with travel and lots of it. You've got to go to some interesting places my friend. Probably not the reasons you wanted but I remember you being a very worldly presence. You fit in anywhere. I know you probably hear this often, but the way you've served this country is so incredibly admirable. 
I hope you get to hear that often enough. Stan 826, 12 18 AM. I am sorry for the delayed response, I want to thank you for the recognition you have given me, most do not say more than a, thank you. Many guys see me as a reminder of what they have not done and that makes them somewhat defensive almost. Most women just see it as something hot or s timey. The best compliments come from older folk, younger people have no understanding of sacrifice or honor, but you are different. You really are intriguing and you see through and understand people, it seems. That is why you are successful I believe. It shows your intelligence. Ashley 826, 843 AM. Ha ha now it's my turn to apologize for the late response. Well that's just about the nicest compliment I've ever had, so thank you. I wouldn't even pretend to imagine how difficult life can be for a soldier but I know that if you guys don't do what you need to do regardless of the public stigma, countless other people will die. That's what the news doesn't put in their clips and that is what the general public doesn't quite grasp. What you guys do is the most selfless thing on this world and I could not imagine a more honorable but difficult life to live. I will always be jealous that you guys get to live with such conviction and purpose. There is a very small number of people that deal with that hardship and I hope if you ever want to talk to someone or you need someone to say thank you again please always remember my info. I really wish I got to know you better when we were younger, but I don't see why we can't be good friends now. Stan 826 8.53 AM. Thank you Ashley. You were always a fun person with a big smile and, of course, very pretty. Smile and have a great day today. I will be in our new city when this gig is up to see my brother and maybe we can meet for some drinks and shoot the asset together. Ashley 8.26, 8.55 AM. You have no idea how much I would love that. You better let me know I'll take it personal. You take care of yourself. Stan 8.26, 8.57 AM. I will definitely let you know. Take care of yourself as well and I will see you soon. My brother lives in half hour away, what area are you in? Ashley 8.26, 8.59 AM. I am in specific part of our city. Across the river from downtown. About 30 minutes from his brother's place. Everything in our city is about half an hour I've learned. Stan 8.26, 9.01 AM. Very true. Any good bars up that way? I like the certain area. Ashley 826, 902 AM. Yeah, I'm pretty close to certain area. I am trying to learn the local dive bars though, the more local the better. Stan 826, 907 AM. I may know of a couple you might like. I usually just go to the pub a block from my brother's so I can walk there and back without driving. Certain place has a cool spot or two as well. Ashley 826, 9.21 AM. Certain place is great I've heard. So moral of the story, I will defer to your judgment. Stan 826, 9.24 AM. Ha ha ha, I like any pub type and dive, not into the club scene. Who do you hang out with up there? And I take it you are working MF95? Ashley 826, 11.40 AM. Ha ha, I mainly hang out with people from work right now since I'm still so new. I would not say 9-5 but I do her profession so it's more certain times are busier than others. But my office is incredibly flexible with time so it's a corporate office but more flexibility if that makes sense. Stan 826, 1149 AM. That's cool. We just got our contract pulled so I should be in our city soon. Stan 94, 1141 AM. Hey you. Ashley 94, 139 PM. Hey buddy. How the hell are you doing? Stan 94, 238 PM. Doing good, and you? I was thinking about coming up to our city tomorrow. You got plans? Ashley 94, 244 PM. I do not actually. That would be great. It's been a long week. Stan 94, 739 PM. Awesome, his number. I hope I can make it up there tomorrow night and hang out with you. Ashley 94, 7.48 PM. Yeah. Okay I saved your number. I am her number. Let me know if you come down. Stan 94, 1152 sorry, been at the sum show. I definitely will let you know tomorrow. Text if you get bored at work. TL, DR. My wife of 5 years has a date tomorrow night and she doesn't know I know everything. 
I don't know how to confront it and I'm leaning towards just waiting if she follows through and then break it off. Any suggestions would be greatly appreciated, so I don't lose my mind. Edit, no word on her plans for tonight yet. I didn't push it too much, so she wouldn't get suspicious that there is something off. I decided not to confront her immediately since I want to see if she is actually going to go ahead to meet that guy alone. I will keep asking to go with her, but I fear she will come with an I have to work late excuse if she really wants to meet him. I will try to find a way to figure out at what bar they are going to meet at and I will just go there and meet them. I think I will file for divorce if I see them alone. I can't go through the same asset again since it really affects my life and well-being. I'm strongly leaning towards no counseling if my worst fears come through because I think there is huge gap in our mindset if she finds it acceptable to meet a guy on a Friday night without telling me. I would never meet a four-year younger woman that I know from why back and were not close friends as is indicated in their messages on a Friday night in a bar without telling my wife or not inviting her with us. I can't see how she doesn't know that's ducked up and how detrimental that can be to our relationship. She is definitely not an idiot to not see this and if she is willing to risk it then it just wasn't meant to be. My stomach is revolting from uncertainty and I slept maybe an hour last night. Damn, I hate this feeling. P.S. If worse comes to worst, I definitely don't intend to make a scene. I don't know that guy and I have nothing strongly against him although he knows we are married because it's not about him it's about my wife's choices. Keeping my fingers crossed that she will make the right ones, but I don't have a good feeling.